Well, for months, discussions about race have been taking place. We're seeing this in the workplace, in our communities, with law enforcement, also sometimes within our own homes. So new this morning, an advocacy group has started a year long conversation. Mark Thompson joining us now with this. Uh, Mark, the first event began this week. Really important work that's happening here. So explain to us how they're doing this. Yeah, absolutely, Nick. Good morning to you. And the group is named Healing Racism Arizona. And for years now, they've been hosting forums, educational forums, to discuss that all important and very difficult at times uh, topic of race. Now, as you mentioned this week, uh, they began a year long series titled Studies in Whiteness. Since the death of George Floyd, we have seen demonstrations. And the group points out that we're seeing a lot more white people more than ever before taking part in some of these protests, the protests even spilling out into some suburban areas. One of the organizers says that online events like they're now hosting are meant to focus on understanding where you come from. When you're part of the dominant culture, um, the one of the, the privileges, if I might say, of that is not having to think about that. And most of us haven't thought about what it means to be white. Whereas if you're a person of color, you you face that every day of your life. The organization talks about racism from a historical perspective, from the Dred Scott case to the Tulsa massacre, but they take white supremacy, for example, a bit further than just hate groups, and they define it as something a bit more broad. White supremacy, we're not talking of, well, that's, that's a manifestation like the KKK or groups like that. It's more of understanding the notion that whiteness is the norm and the benchmark against which everything else is, um, is measured. Healing Racism Arizona says to further open the dialogue, people, they cannot shame or attack one another. Very important points here. Conversations work best, they say, when there is no right or wrong, but rather teaching, learning, and understanding. Healing Racism Arizona, they're going to host their next online forum coming up in the first week of August, and you can find all of that information if you want to participate and sign up. That's on their Facebook page. Reporting live this morning, Mark Thompson, ABC 15 Arizona. Back to you.